I'm a psychology student um, graduating. Uh, this is my final year of my undergraduate degree at McGill University. Um, so I um, am originally from China and I came to Canada um, in 2018 to start my um, university. And I didn't know I had ADHD until uh, November, 2020. So in the middle of the pandemic, I um, started to sort of um, realize I might, this might be what's going on. And uh, I consulted with my doctor and he referred me to a diagnosis to a psychologist who can, who specializes in ADHD diagnosis. So I went for it and I, I got diagnosed. Um, yeah. When were you first diagnosed with ADHD? Right, because it was because uh, one of my close friends um, had ADHD and when he sort of, described the symptoms to me. They looked really similar to what I'm uh, struggling um, sort of my whole life. So, <laughs> maybe, uh, and I started to do more and more research online. Um, so, so I was really curious because I, I most of the questions online, um, I get the answer uh, pretty much like very consistent answer that that points me to ADHD, although I didn't know what subtype yet. So, so I was I was really nervous when I went to the doctor's appointment because I was not sure how he would feel about me going going to uh, another to uh, another diagnosis because originally I was diagnosed um, for depression. Um, and, uh, and he started me on Wellbutrin, which um, really helped the depression, but I still kind of had the inkling that um, something wasn't quite right. Like I was always different in the crowd. I didn't fit in and, and I didn't really want it to fit in necessarily. Well, I, I want to fit in, but not, I, want, I didn't want to be just like any other kid. Um, so in that in that sense, I sort of knew I was a bit different um, since I grew up, but but um, nobody really knew about um, ADHD or girls with ADHD. Especially, I had pretty great grades um, because in junior and high school. I was in a, a boarding school. So it was really, really structured. I had to wake up at before seven and I had to do this or so every, so the time schedule was really tight and that really helped me to st structure my day um, throughout high school. So I didn't suffer that much for my grades. I was always a good student in terms of um, grades and everything, but I, looking back I knew that um, whenever in class when a, a teacher noticed I was looking out the window or or they see me sort of spacing zoning out and uh, and they will ask me a question um, sort of seeing okay you should pay attention now but because I was really smart I guess <laughs> I could always sort of guess what the, the teacher is saying and um, walk my way through high school. So, but university was obviously different. And so I was struggling with keeping up with coursework and um, doing many things at the same time. So I think that's when I started to really think about ADHD and uh, 
I might have it. <laughs> yeah. After diagnosis, did you seek treatment? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's that's my experience as well. Um, I after I got um, medication for ADHD, my depression symptoms have definitely got away um, pretty fast. So it, it was it was startling for me to see how my depression was related to ADHD and. Um, yeah, so when I was treating treated for depression, it, it it didn't feel like I had the, you know, I had the uh, ultimate treatment to the point. But now I do feel like I I've adjust, adjusted my medication to a, a fairly consistent level, and I'm able to function well. And that made me made my depression go away. <laughs> Um, medication is definitely not a cure, but it is, it provides me the window of opportunity to, to sort of, um, to, um, gain clarity in a way, um, that I wasn't be able before and to, um, exactly like you said, to use this, um, to grow and to find coping strategies that work for me. How has your experience been in educational spaces? Yeah, it was a big uh, change for me because one moment um, I'm at boarding school um, and the next I am in a completely new country with nobody I know. I, I went to Montreal, I had no family there. And, you know, everything was new, everything was different. So the first semester I was really excited um, <laughs> because, well, uh, we, we ADHD brains love new things, right? New stimuli. So at first it was all very, very exciting. And then I think the, the second term, it started to hit sort of, um, the, the social aspect, I wasn't really able to keep up and I didn't quite understand the, the social dynamics of, of um, university. Um, and I think that really stressed me out and uh, sort of made the depression came out. <laughs> yeah, at McGill, um, I think I took um uh, advantage of the student wellness hub there and uh, I was really lucky because some people say they couldn't get an appointment uh, for a month or two but I was lucky that someone canceled and I, I just went in by the way <laughs> so um so in that respect I guess um the systems there in universities um I think it's just we need uh, more awareness on like act people actually using it and giving um, students more uh, resources and and more opportunities they can find uh, with their way through and sort of find help. I was really I I I was like navigating the the whole system on my own. Um, like I was the one initiating uh, appointment with with um, first the counselor and then psychiatrist and then you know all, everything. Um, I think if, if if it wasn't like people around me that were supporting me that were sort of pushing me to get through it, um, may, I might not be able to, you know, go all the way through. So I think a, a support system surrounding students uh, is really important too. How has your experience been in the workplace? Mm, I do have experience in, um, in a lab sense. Um, I was working in a, in a research lab at McGill and um, so, but not not in a traditional workspace. 
I guess, but I did um, face a little bit of tension with my um, with the reach with the graduate student that was I was sort of helping her with her project and and um, he was telling me, okay, we should you should read one one article per day and then and then we um, have have a meeting every week to discuss the process, blah blah blah. And I had a different way of working. So we had to sort of find the middle ground and and uh, it was important for me to advocate advocating for my own uh, way of doing things. Like I told her, well, I don't really do one one thing per day. Uh, I just like go through everything at once and then we can discuss. So so I, I told her I would do all the reading um, by the end of the week and so that I can have a fresh memory. Um, so it, it worked out well, but um, I had the experience of, of like sorting out um, how to to collaborate with people with different preferences, I guess. Has your ADHD changed with age? I do have a lot of memories that I now I think back would is probably related to ADHD, like. Well, I had a really funny one um, when I was in primary primary school. Um, we like my my dad um, would go with me to school and uh, drop me off every morning. Right, there was one day that both of us forgot my school bag. So <laughs> the only important thing that I was supposed to. Uh, Carrie, we we both forgot it, and until it was like until we uh, walked to the gate and saw everybody had the had the school bag, and it was like something's wrong, <laughs> something's not not um, doesn't seem right. So we had to uh, go back and um, grab my school bag, and it didn't happen only once. I think <laughs> it happened twice, well at least. Um, from my memory so that that was probably an indicator of the forgetfulness uh, <laughs> um, just thinking about a million other things except for what the teacher is talking about at first it was because well it would the material seemed easy for me so as soon as I know like I can I understand it I just think about other stuff <laughs> um, yeah and I think that didn't really annoy the teachers but sort of you know put them a bit on the edge because every time they try to pick on me I have the answers. <laughs> what are some of the biggest misconceptions about ADHD? The, oh there are so many misconceptions. Um, I think one being girls couldn't have ADHD and the other the most I think the most ridiculous one being um, ADHD, people who have ADHD have lower IQ. That's actually not true. Um, I think ADHD is related. It's associated with higher <laughs> IQ actually. And IQ is one of, one of our um, coping mechanism. So, yeah. How do you feel ADHD has benefited your life? Oh, absolutely. I think there are ideas that I've had, I probably wouldn't pursue it, or there's like many hobbies that I developed, I probably wouldn't be interested in. And also, um, I don't like procrastination, but I think it's a, the hyper focus of when I need to get things done, um, I can it's really hard for me to imagine like when I'm out of that hyper focus and it's um, the, the productivity of that period, it's uh, unfathomable to me, like what as soon as I'm pulling out. So I really appreciate the <laughs> hyper focus um, trait, I guess. 
um what else i think also like just appreciating the spontaneous moments and the adventures i definitely seek that dopamine so um <laughs> yeah so i think uh, adventures has led me to um do well do a lot of traveling around the world i went to egypt and lebanon and Sy syria um so like i like traveling around the world and i think that's probably because of me wanting um new craving new things new people new culture so yeah i think that adhd has made me a much more open-minded person what do you want people watching to know about your adhd that's a a good question um i think adhd it's not well it, it's becoming a trigger word i would say recently um there's people that embraces it to the fullest its extent um, and and also people talking bad things about adhd but knowing that i think it's important to um if if you have the chance get diagnosed and and understand how adhd is impacting you is tremendously has been tremendously helpful for me um so i think that's that's the most important thing i've learned last year was to sort of observing myself from um and my how my adhd has uh, um influenced me so that i can find the the right strategies that work for me